spicy peanut secret weapon noodle thingy. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. I'm honestly not usually the person who, who is like in charge of the cooking, but I need to learn. It is pretty funny that Tommy bolted this crack with his dad when he was eight years old. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even have like... I was talking about that. They were like the figure eight was like the, like the new high technology <laughs> back then. Man, I haven't found any ticks, but that kind of makes me nervous because that... I don't know, I'd rather just find them. I think they really, I think they really like it. I mean, I've pulled off like eight already. I know. Yeah, I've literally got, and I think that's 10. Are you gonna make a tick stew later? Is that what's, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's yeah, why you're gonna One pot like tick one stew. One pot tick <laughs> stew. I think we're gonna do that. Wow. What are your adventures this summer? Starting here at home, biking to Hooker. We want to climb one of the routes, maybe some dare. I don't know. I'm, I need to get bait on one of the routes. Are you going with, with, with Arnold? Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna bike from there to the Bugaboos and do the. We want to do the Hazard Tower Traverse. Bike from there to the Stikeen in Alaska, which is where the Devil's Thumb is. Whoa. So well, it's actually got the biggest face <coughs> in North America on it's it. Like 4, but it's like, but it's like but almost unclimbable death yeah. face. We're not gonna climb that face. So, 2,000 miles of biking, which you think it'd be more actually, but it's not. It's not, the, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty straight line, kind of from yeah. here to Wyoming to the Bugs. Take a little boat out to this island called Prince of Wales Island, and it's like a whole, it's like a, um, you know, forest protection kind of story yeah. that we're telling through Patagonia. Cool. <laughs> and um, then we'll meet some people that I that I've met there, some like indigenous, um, like forest activists and then we'll bike up the island on these like dirt roads there's the old logging roads because it's most of it was all logged at one point and then we'll get in a boat again and go, go a little bit to petersburg and then we'll hang out there for like three weeks and waiting for good weather Sweet. or yeah. if the weather's good we just go how long is the whole trip from two two full months two july full 1st months. august 31st. Okay. i don't think there's going to be anything this hard in time <laughs> like some rain is about to happen and we're gonna go and Tommy's gonna show us a quick and easy one pot meal with some for Patagonia provisions stuff yeah and uh, kind of a meal that you'd make in the backcountry that Tommy would make on his bike packing trip um, something simple hopefully delicious and easy yeah we'll see and we're trying not to get destroyed by lightning right yeah now. that's that's <laughs> that's the first thing <laughs> <laughs> we can start going, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rolling. Okay. Yeah, so I thought today we'd make a recipe 
that um, Brittany Griffith made for Hayden back in the day, and then he made her make it for him every time they'd get together. He liked nice. it so much. Yeah. This, this is, she calls this her secret rep weapon noodle thingy. <laughs> Brittany Griffith's <laughs> spicy, spicy peanut, peanut, noodle, peanut thing. Uh, oh, yeah. noodle thing. Brittany Griffith's spicy peanut secret weapon noodle thingy. Something like that. <laughs> 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 that sounds awesome. That sounds like Brittany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we should cook the noodles. Yeah, I'm going to start the noodles, I figured. So apparently we're supposed to slice the red pe bell pepper to the size of your fingernail. Um, cut the green onions into quarter inch little pieces. And then cut the carrots matchstick style. So the chopping is the heavy lift in this one, I feel like. I mean, I'm going to spend my whole summer um, with Honold, and he hates cooking, so I know I'm going to have to, like, step it up. Totally. Um, and once upon a time, I was kind of into cooking. I actually wooed my wife a little bit with cooking, and then once I got her, I just quit cooking all together. You're just like, yeah. She wasn't, she, wasn't a, she wasn't a chef back then, and then she got into it, and now she's so good that I've kind of given up. Like on Big Walls, what, are you, what were you eating? And what are you like? I'm, so historically, I would just eat, like, Gorp and like canned peaches and yeah, stuff, yeah. but in the last couple of years of the Donwall, we like stepped it up big time because we were climbing in the winter and we realized yeah. and we needed to like perform at our absolute best like ever in our lives. So we would bring like avocados. Uh -huh. We would bring hard boiled eggs up there. Bring like bags of kale and really hearty vegetables like yeah, kale and that carrots would last, and stuff. Like, yeah, things that along. you could put in in a haul bag. And it didn't. It was so cold that the refrigeration didn't matter that much yeah which is different than most walls uh, yeah. when we're making the sauce or when you you might get pumped since we don't have a food processor okay so i like peanut butter one two one thousand three one thousand but i would say the biggest thing with all of the spices is you have the ingredients right it's like kind of like peanut butter Soy sauce, we're gonna put lime juice, sesame oil, and a little bit of honey. And fish sauce. And fish sauce. Yeah. And basically, I know Brittany would agree with this, is it's all to taste. Like the recipe is a, a guidance, and we'll show you the recipe details later, but it doesn't have to be exact. Like we're gonna start this, we're gonna taste it, maybe we'll add something else. We got actual limes today. So generally with limes, I like to Soften them up first. Learn this from Kelly Cordes making margaritas. Let's, uh, and we heat the sauce up while you're stirring it, or does the sauce stay? Let me, let me check that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't overcook the pasta. That's the most critical step. Sounds How's good. Pasta, look? <laughs> pasta looks good. It's not overcooking. Brittany. I like toss veggies with pasta sauce. Oh, you know, I'm shooting this little. Uh, cooking show here with Tommy Caldwell, and we're making one of your recipes. Tommy can't cook. Yeah, no, you're right. I used to be able to cook. You know, you know, I wooed my wife with cooking once upon a time, and then gave up once I got her. But um, so we're making your peanut sauce, pasta sauce. Hey, yeah. Do you cook the sauce, or do you just mix it all up? Just mix it all up. Mix it yeah. all up. Yeah. Cool. Nice. And so, how much sesame oil? Uh, this is the recipe. That's weird. It has it all. You should put the recipe in a different place than the. I'm cutting this jalapeno, and I'm going to take the seeds out in case it's really, really spicy. I don't know. Be careful touching your private parts post or your partner's private parts. Done that before. <laughs> Oops. Eyes. Eyes. Yeah. Eyes. I go private parts first. Let me go to eyes. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to add salmon to this dish, but the cool thing about this dish is you could eat it as is. You don't have to add anything to it. And apparently, given the ingredient list, it could stay, it keeps for a long time because there's no eggs or meat in it. But if you would like to, you could add kind of any protein you want to it. Maybe not steak, chicken or seafood would probably be the best. Test taste of the pasta. It's al, di al dente. Al, al dente. <laughs> al dente. It's perfectly, perfectly cooked. Not too mushy. 
if you wanted to really do this in one pot, you could boil the pasta, take the pasta out, and then make the sauce in the pot, and then put the pasta back in. So, I mean, Patagonia Provisions is is a is a cool company because they're really trying to figure out ways to make food that is like the least harmful on the earth, and so. You know, a lot of people think you have to eat vegetarian, but they, you know, they kind of find foods that they can harvest in very sustainable ways. Um, and so they, you know, things like mackerel, mussels, mussels are highly abundant in the ocean. Um, salmon, they figure out ways to um, kind of find it in very sustainable ways. And, and every product it tells a little story about how that happens on the back. So I really like to use it. Let's see how it... Pretty good. I'm gonna make this again for sure. No. And it's like, I think you could eat this like a lot mm -hmm. and not get sick of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I know if you guys do. Easy. Yeah. Get, get, get water anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't take that much fuel. If I was in the back country, I would probably drink the salmon juice, but I don't know if we'll do that here. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna nice. dive in. I'm hungry. This is your, your backyard, yeah. <laughs> a little whiskey that's dedicated to Long's Peak. 10 cup 14-er. Yeah. Did they, put, uh, did they put all the different 14-ers on there? I think that's the plan. This is the first one. Nice. Yeah, so like every couple of years they're gonna... Does it look right? <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little, a little squished, but... <laughs> they made it look slightly more badass than yeah, normal, yeah. but yeah. that's awesome. Thank well, you so much, Matt. Yeah, yeah that's of course. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, this meal was delicious. Brittany's, what do we call it? What did she call it again? M pasta, peanut pasta. Secret weapon. Secret weapon. That's right. Spicy peanut. Spicy chicken. peanut noodle thing, secret weapon. <laughs> Backcountry meal, pretty sweet, one pot meal. Uh, I'm psyched to hear about your adventure this summer, how it goes, how many times you make this, I wanna know. Okay. And uh, yeah. That's gonna be great. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Bon appetit.